Hi there, Mike David here, and I'm going to show you how to do the uh, Bistronics Bi-Bend bending in the uh, designer options. I've already opened up my uh, Bisoft designer, and I'm just going to open up a file here. What we do is we normally draw in SolidWorks, and then we export out as an ASIS.SAT file. So there's my 3D part. Now I'm just going to say Quick Unfold. It uh, asked me for the tooling. I'm just going to say, uh, let's go. I can say use default, or I can say change and use default. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and allow the uh, the BIU 031 and the OZU-354 on there. We have special tagged after it because it's not an ideal tool for the sheet thickness. So now it shows me my flat blank. Now I'm just going to export it out into the uh, by Ben part. Now I can uh, three things. You have a three button mouse. Uh, if I left click I can rotate the part around. Right click I can pan it around. And if I click the center button I can go up and down to zoom in and out. Okay. So now I'm just gonna first thing I always do is I like to say automatic technology and just see what it comes up with. You know, we'll go back to the bending because I finished it and I'm going to say you know what let's flip this part around and then let's uh, take a look at these bends here so it goes from one to the opposite side I'm going to drop this one down so that way there it just goes one two and then three and then that way there by doing this we can hang the part off the edge and we're not so concerned about the exact length of the tooling which makes setup a little bit easier. Now we'll go to our back gauges and hit automatic back gauge. Now if the automatic technology we did at the beginning would have been exactly the way I wanted to run the part we would be done already. So since we didn't I just like to go through and double check these steps. You can cycle through and uh, look at your back gauges. And we're going to go through check out our tooling. It's going to say uh, automatic setup plan and delete this one, overwrite a new one. So we've got our bends in there. One, two, and then three. So it's all perfect. It shifted everything over to the right so it all clears. You can, if you're ever not sure, you can always rotate it around. Take a look. And then in here, we've got uh, automatic calculation. It's giving me an error here of uh, pressing force limited to maximum tool load and uh, we've run this material before so I'm not sure why there's an error going this time around but uh, I will have to look into that if, if we have a problem with the machine it won't let it bend and then we'll have to look into that then but other than that uh, it should be ready to go so from there then what I'll do is I'm just gonna go file export And we're going to save that off as a uh, Bistronics BPX is what you want to do. So once you save that off, then you can come back to uh, Design. And then you click Save. And now you can give it a file name, enter all the data you want, and uh, save it to the database. So one is, uh, this is to save it to the database for the Bistronics software. The other export is to send it to the machine where you're actually going to be doing the bending. So there are two separate files that you have to create on that. And that's all there is to it.